you and uh, you and you and uh when we go to church all our life and the pastor preaches out of the same verses all the time over and over again and never teaches you anything in the scripture you got to wait till you're 50 some years old to learn this stuff 40 some years old and you think and you're like wondering like well how come we didn't learn this back way back we didn't know this stuff it's because they didn't want you to know it. they don't they didn't even know it they still don't know it they're dead and they never learned it What do you think of that? They spent their whole life and they never knew this. They never studied it. Ain't that something? Let me in. You can come in. You're you're one of the, aren't you? Get in here. Just let yourself in. Know me? You're you're one of the mods, aren't you? Let me double check. I think you are. Let me see. I got to double check. Yeah, you're you're a mod. You're a co-host. You and uh, you and you and uh, Jordan and uh, Yahoo, right now. You don't need a link to join, silly. You just go to StreamYard and let yourself in. You don't need a link. You didn't know that, huh? You don't need a link. You just come in. Don't you get it? You know what? I forgot how to do that to tell you the truth. I think you just got to type in. uh, Let's see. How do you do that? Jordan does it all the time. You don't need the link. Where is Jordan? He might be sleeping. I was going to call. Ask him. Yeah. So you, how did you do it? How does that work? When you get in here, let me know how that works. I forget how that works. Did you have to go to streamyard.com? Your devices aren't connected. Here you come. You'll let yourself in. So you can let yourself in. Yeah, so you can <laughs> yes. how's, how's that work? Do you have to go to StreamYard? This is awesome. Yeah, it's as easy as that. You just go to StreamYard. Okay, just checking. Yeah. And it was already yeah. signed in. I just clicked enter studio. Yeah, see, I keep the riffraff out this way <laughs> with no link to join. But I gotta oh, put up with you guys. You're riffraff. You're the top riffraff anyway. But I like Am I glad there. to be in here, man? I could finally put you in your place. That's okay. okay All right, let's study. Ready? Let's study the scripture. Keep, okay, keep so let, let me let me help you understand it just like pastor Chris helped me understand it go ahead if you got something to, if you know what you're talking Do you about know your timeline fun. where are, where are you at right now we are just going uh we're, we're, we're getting to the point where Abram we're learning where he came from he came from uh the lineage of uh, Shem through Arphasad and all those sons down through Eber and then to, yeah. to Haran to to to, uh, to Nehor, rather and then Tira, and then Tira had three oh, sons. So where where did you come from? Ah, well, <laughs> we yeah. came. Well, there's this is listen. What do you mean? What are you laughing about? After the flood, because, listen. I'm trying to make sense of this. Okay. Well, that's good. So These Noah guys came off, from. Here, there, let me tell you. Let me just give it to you plain. Noah gets off the ark. He's got three sons: Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Every one of them got a wife. So Noah's got one wife at that point. Shem's got a wife. Ham and Japheth got a wife. There were eight souls saved by water. Okay. Noah, his three sons and all their wives. Four women, four men. 
on the ark. So then after that, now there's going to be descendants from each one of these kids, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Crossbreeding and stuff like that. Well, first of all, they got to they gotta have more kids, you know. So the lineage is listed in Genesis chapter 10. We went through that already. I don't know if you were paying attention, but now we're coming into the line of Shem because after the, you, you remember what happened with Noah, that he was drunk with, in his tent and the, and the son Ham saw his father's nakedness. Do you remember that kind of or no? No, to me, that's all noise. Well, that's not noise. That's that's stuff you need to learn. No, it's nonsense. No, it's stuff you need to learn. <laughs> I'll explain to you why. Okay. They came you don't have those to explain why. You Grab came... that Bible. Grab that Bible I sent you. I want to show you, you came, something. Listen, you came from your mother's womb. Okay. Your Don't mother, start. Your you know mother me? was not on the ark, David. Your mother was in the New Testament when you were born. Correct? You know me. So you are in the New Testament right now. So all these topics you're talking about no longer apply to us living in the New Testament. We cannot you cross what breed, you're talking about. Breed. We cannot do all do you these understand? things. Well, you don't know enough this about the New Testament. This does not apply to us. Okay? What are you talking about? All of this stuff that it says in Genesis. These things are written for our learning. They're it's, written for our admonition. It does not apply to us. It do, it's for our learning to understand what not to do because we live in a different world right that now. That too. We, yeah, we live in the New Testament. So We're not living. What? Well, what do you mean by that? After the death of the testator. I don't even think so, you know. So we no longer talking. live our lives like they used to live our lives is what I'm saying. Okay, but we're learning what happened. You, if you do, then you don't acknowledge that Jesus died for... What do you mean? You don't get it, do you? No, you don't get it. You are doing a disservice by focusing on the Old Testament when you should be focusing on the living now, breeding Testament of the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Well, show me, then grab that Bible I gave you. Grab one of them. You got well, one right next to you. past is past is what I'm saying. We're living you got, now. Show me one of the Bibles. You got one handy? You got it right near you? Yeah, I'm going to go get it. It's on my bookshelf. One second. Okay. I respect it. I don't just throw it on, you know what I mean? Like, I put it somewhere nice. Yeah, all right, whatever. But you got to learn how to read it. You got to start wearing it out. See, my, my wife had a problem with that. What are you doing? I'm just getting my Bible. Baby. What do you want from me? Uh, there it is. There it is. That's just one of them. Which one is that? Is that the wide mark? Which one is it's that? It's the pocket version. All right, hook it, mate. Why not read it? Is that the mid size one? Or is that the smaller one? Oh, this is the smaller one. That's the one that's got the translators to the reader in it. Yeah, I'm getting it. It's okay, but you know. That one, that, that one's it's like. Handy one. I like to open this one. I read yeah. it. Okay, so I opened up to 1 Samuel 15. Oh, how nice. Samuel also said unto Saul, The Lord sent me to anoint thee to be king. Oh, <laughs> glory to God. See? Well, look at that. He's you just turned your God wanted to turn. You know, you're he's playing always Bible roulette. Patience, God. Glory yeah. to your name. Amen. Thank you just embarked on a new study. First Samuel chapter 15. The Lord said, okay, so is Samuel in the Old Testament? Now you're going to ask me, you're, you're, you're the one that acts like you know all about everything, and you're going to ask me the questions again. See, that's what happens. Everybody tells me I don't no, know nothing. I know. Sometimes I and they got to teach me, but then they ask me to show them everything. No, I, that's really unique how that works. Me, they I say, News Unit, you don't know anything. I'm going to show you. Is Samuel in the Old Testament? Can I just Where do I look this up? up? And I'm supposed Sometimes to do everything. And then I, I and then they turn back rhetorical. around and look at me and say, you don't know nothing. I'm teaching you. Because I ask rhetorical questions sometimes. Don't you understand? Okay. I'm right here. I'm, I'm in the early chapters of the Bible. The early books are the Old Testament. Yeah. So I'm trying to drive a point. What, what I'm trying to say is I'm reading to you 
because God wanted me to read to you about the Old Testament. Don't you understand, man? No, you were talking about the New Testament. You're contradicting yourself now. Exactly. But anyway, you know, but only you're not paying attention. Your level, I have even to your... refer to the Old Testament, so maybe you could wake up. All right, here we are in 1 Samuel 15. Give us a lesson. I'm reading with you now. Samuel also sent it to Saul. Keep going. The Lord sent me to anoint thee to be king over his people, over Israel. Now, therefore, hearken thou unto the voice of the words of the Lord. Thus said the Lord of hosts, I remember that which Amalek did to Israel, how he laid wait for him in the way when he came up from Egypt. It's Amalek. You see what I mean? You're focused on the nonsense, man. Get I just want point. you to know how to say what Get you read. Point. Now go and smite Amalek and utterly destroy all that they have. Right, Amalek? And spare them not. But slay both man and woman. Look at this, man. The Lord is telling him to go slay them. Right. right. <clears throat> so, this is deep, man. Okay? You bet it is. Yeah. Some people say the Lord of the Old Testament is not the same Lord as the New Testament. The Lord told them to vex the Midianites, too, for they vex you with their wiles. Now he's the telling Lord the Lord was angry at this point. Don't you guys understand? And now it's He's angry every day if you take the italics out of Psalm 711. He is now rejoicing in his glory with his children. We've passed all this. Anyways. Uh, both this is good stuff. I don't have any problem with it. We'll get back to the study in a moment. Go ahead. Infant and suckling ox and sheep, camel and ass. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait there a minute. Goes. Read that again so we got it. You missed a couple words. Now go and smite Amalek and then what? And utterly destroy all that they have and spare them not, right? I said that as before. Okay, but maybe spray both man and woman, okay? Okay. Infant and suckling, ox and sheep, camel and ass, right? Go yeah. all the way, go all the way, right? A camel and ass. <laughs> And Saul gathered the people together and numbered them in Helen, 200,000 footmen, and then 1,000 men of Judah. And Saul 10,000. 10,000 10, men of Judah, yeah. And Saul came to a city of Amalek and laid wait in the valley. And Saul said unto the Canaanites. Kenites. Kenites, yeah. Go depart. Go depart. Really? Really? God. Okay, what else are you going to say? Get you well, down. he's letting the Kenites out of there. He says, go depart, get you down from among the Amalekites, lest I destroy you with them. So he's letting them go. Or he's going to get the Amalek. He's going to get Amalek. The Amalekites. Amalekites. Lest I destroy with you them. <coughs> he shewed kindness to all the children of Israel. When they came up out of Egypt, so they can okay. So he let them go because they were kind to the Egyptians, right? Yeah, they were no, they weren't kind to the Egyptians. The Egypt when 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 the when Israel came out of Egypt, that nation, the Kenites were kind to Israel. Oh, they were passing by Egypt. They came out of Egypt. What does that mean? <laughs> they they left. Don't you remember Egypt with the Pharaoh and all the judgments, and they crossed the Red Sea and came across and all that. Yeah, they're passing through Egypt, is what I mean. No, they came they out Egyptians. of Egypt. They weren't Egyptians. <laughs> yeah, you know why they went to Egypt to begin with? Uh, to run away. No, because there was famine in the land, and Joseph was sold into Egypt with one of the brothers. Of Jacob, who was named, what was Jacob's name changed to? Israel. Saul. Saul. What are you talking about? <laughs> you, me. Well, you're pretty smart. You learned? Did you learn that from Pastor Chris? No, I learned this from Candace. Probably. Oh, She's really? anointed too. God, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Yeah. So the point is, okay, this doesn't make any sense, right? Now, hold on. Let me, okay, let me blow your mind, David. Here we go. God, please give us all the answers. Lord, please. 
I don't know what I'm talking about, but you know the truth, the way, and the life. Please help me snap my friend out of his miseries. Okay, here we go, David. I don't know everything. Jeremiah! The Lord wants you to read. Oh, did you play Bible roulette again? What are we, where are we at now? Let's yeah, let me, let me Bible turn roulette, Jeremiah, Bible dip in, whatever. Wow, look at that. Now we're in Jeremiah. D E A R T H. See, they it's ask awesome. me everything about the Bible, it's but they know everything. Craft, I think. Isn't that amazing? Just another example. Here's the guy teaching me, and he's got to ask me what it is. That's famine. That is, but some kind of famine. Dearth is another name for famine. It's some type of. Let me well, look it there up. There you go, David. You were just talking about the famine, weren't you? You see how it works, man? It's not just. Yeah, scarcity, no. famine, want, scarcity is dearth of corn, barrenness. Yeah, there's I'm something. I'm telling you, on. there's more to this than just jumping around. Of course. Believe me, there's more to this than just jumping around. That's not Believe what you do Lord. with your Bible. I'm letting him guide me. <laughs> I don't know how to talk to you. Okay? He's talking to you. Now listen up. Jeremiah 14. The word of the Lord that came to Jeremiah Uh, concerning the dearth. I didn't know. Okay, there's your famine right there if you want to know more. Mm -hmm. Judah mourneth and the gates... Why why would somebody blame their so-called understanding of Scripture, comprehension, uh... Their doctrine, if you can call it that, coming from near me, on somebody else. Candice, you're kidding, near me? Well, obviously he isn't, because he just said. I've had enough. I've got other things I want to do, and I feel tired. So I'm going, uh, yeah. Poor Dave. <laughs> Uh, poor Dave. Yeah. <laughs> it's not funny. Can't help laughing. Pastor Chris told me all of this. According to Numi. I mean, yeah. No, goodbye. 